I still, I just, I just can't believe they're doing this. I just can't. I mean, I just, is this real? I mean, I mean, is this real life? I mean, I always wanted, but I never actually thought that, like, it would happen. Especially not in, like, this continuity. I mean, I never even, like, suspected. In fact, I did a video last year where I was like, nuh-uh. This shit ain't never gonna happen again, especially not in this continuity, but like, a year later, here I am, and it's just like, here it is, bro. You're proven wrong. You're, you're getting, your child's a dream. It's like, it's gonna happen, man. They're remaking King Kong vs. Godzilla. I just... Thank you, Legendary. Anyway, hello everyone, I am Zazubar, back again to do a little update on what's been going on in the world of kaiju and geekdom since I was away on my little hiatus. So, this is arguably bigger news than the Gamera footage, but I wanted to do the Gamera footage first because, you know, it was actual footage and we knew more about it and there was more to talk about than just sort of going, hey, they're remaking King Kong vs. Godzilla, and it's going to be set in the 2014 universe, and Kong Skull Island is going to be in continuity with 2014. That's it. I literally just stated the whole news, everything we know about this movie, in like six seconds, before I even like started the video. That's, that's crazy. Like, that's all we know. Oh, and it's coming out in 2020. That too. Not the Rachel Ray show. Is that what 20, is that 2020? I don't know. I don't know. But that's the year it's coming out, so yeah. Godzilla vs. Kong. It's happening. I still can't believe it. Like, like preparing to do this video like 10 minutes ago, and I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna sit down and do a video on Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, I was just like, what am I gonna say? Because this is like this is not a small thing. Like, I have been talking about, you know, the legendary Godzilla movies for years and sort of talking about like what what I wanted them to do, where I wanted them to go and everything. And the one thing I never ever thought would happen is that they would do Godzilla versus King Kong, that they would remake that movie and bring Kong into that universe. I never ever suspected. Even when Legendary said they were gonna make a King Kong movie, I did a whole joke where I was like, you guys are fucking idiots, they're not doing that. All you news outlets that aren't actual Godzilla fans and just reporting on this because you think people will care. Uh, you don't actually know. There's no way they're remaking King Kong vs. Godzilla. Here's a, God, here's a guy who knows Godzilla like the back of his own hands, and I'm just like, I was wrong. I was genuinely, genuinely wrong. And honestly, I couldn't be happier that I was wrong. So, um, I have a lot to say about this. A lot of it I already said in SOS episode 49 when we talked about this when it was a rumor. Uh, that, that we, we recorded that episode before it was actually confirmed that Legendary was going to cross Godzilla and Kong over in 2020. So, a lot of that is more speculative than even this is going to be. So, um, you can go back and watch that video if you want to hear my initial gut reaction to that when it was more fresh. But, um, since even this news, the actual confirmation of it, that it happened a while ago. I think three weeks ago, maybe? So, this is not new news. New news. So, it's old, to quote a joke from Ricky Gervais. So, um, yeah, so, okay. Where to start with this? All right. Whew, okay. So, again, you can go back to that video and sort of see where all my thoughts on this began. But, okay, so, it's confirmed. Godzilla and Kong are going to fight in legendary continuity, and I still can't believe it. So, all right. Is this a thing that I want to happen. Fuck yes. This is definitely a thing that I want to happen because God damn it, King Kong vs. Godzilla is still awesome. I know a lot of Godzilla fans hate it. I know it's generally considered to not be one of the best Godzilla movies, that it does not hold up to the standards of the better Godzilla movies and to modern standards of good filmmaking, but fuck is it a fun movie. Just... It's really fun. I mean, you just got Kong and Godzilla as sock puppets just whacking each other around and 
oh, just watching those fights, I, I'm just like, I still get excited. I still get ramped up. I still feel like I'm a kid watching those two Titans clash, and it still does it for me, guys. So even as a curmudgeonly old man as I am now, sitting here, you know, having to objectively consider this, the potentials of this new movie and considering it in the realms of the 2014 universe and whether or not this is actually a thing that could realistically work, um, I still can't, I still, in my head, I'm just like, yeah, but none of that matters. They're remaking King Kong vs. Godzilla. Even that inherently is awesome. Even if this thing sucks, it'll still be worth it just because they did it. Just because in 2020, they sat down and they said, you know, we could remake King Kong vs. Godzilla. So, that, that that's enough for me. So, just there. Done. Video over. Cool. I'm happy. Cool. But let's get a little more in-depth with this. Let's probe beneath the surface. Not that it matters. Legendary's gonna do whatever they want anyway, so my thoughts don't matter and this video doesn't matter. But hell, it's fun, and I got nothing better to do. So, fuck it. Let's talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. Okay. So let's move away from the whole, the fact that it's happening is enough thing for a second. Let's talk about how I didn't want them to do this for a while um, in this continuity. Um, I talked about that in the SOS episode. I talked about it in a whole bunch of other videos. I didn't want them to bring Kong into this universe. I always said that if you're going to remake King Kong vs. Godzilla, do, as, do it as its own universe. Don't make it a part of a wider Godzilla series. Just do it as a one-off. That's it. I, think, I, thought, I always thought that would be the best way to do it. But, um... Here they go, building this whole cinematic universe like we've never, ever seen before in a modern movie. Ever. So, working Kong into the pre-existing legendary Godzilla universe and then having them fight there. So, again, never thought it would happen. Never really wanted it to happen because I wanted Legendary's to Godzilla to be an isolated encapsulation of everything that's good about the Japanese Godzilla brought to American audiences, as I've always said. So, um... And we talked about how 2014 does and doesn't do that in the past, but just on a level of, you know, what I wanted from this franchise overall, it was never to cross Kong into it, because again, I always wanted this to be Godzilla's franchise. I always wanted to have a good Godzilla, American Godzilla series, and, um, you know, whether or not we're going to get that remains to be seen. We've got one pretty solid movie to boot so far, so I guess the track record's good, but... Um, yeah, and this was never really a thing that I thought they would or could do, because again, it's just, it was just, it's such a, it's such an out there concept to, to, to bring those two together. Um, and Godzilla himself is an out there concept, so, you know, you're probably thinking, oh, this guy's a fucking idiot, he doesn't know what he's talking about, because it's all bullshit and make-believe, and it's all unrealistic, but Godzilla, Godzilla's universe, like, extended and expanded so far beyond post King Kong vs. Godzilla, that bringing Kong into that world after that seems kind of ridiculous. Because back when that movie was made, you gotta understand, Godzilla was not the icon that he is now. He was, a, he was a known character, you know, he was known in the international market. The first three movies were successful, I, I mean, that's including King Kong vs. Godzilla. Um, but nobody, he wasn't as popular as King Kong was. Kong was around for 30 years before that, so people knew his name way more than Godzilla's. So if you watch that first movie, and you remember that, and you look at all the marketing for it, that's a King Kong movie with Godzilla in it. It technically exists in Godzilla's mythos. It's why, it's, it's, it's technically, it's more of a Godzilla movie than it is a Kong movie because it exists in his universe, and Kong has worked into his universe, as I've talked about before. But, Kong is the good guy. I got news for you. Godzilla is very much so painted as the villain, and Kong is presented as the good guy, and that's why he wins in the end, because Kong was the good guy um, at the time. So, because he was more popular, and because, and this is always the case, if you've got a humanoid kaiju fighting a reptilian kaiju, the humanoid kaiju always wins. Almost universally. If there's an exception to that, I'm not familiar with it, and it's not coming to my head right now, and it doesn't matter! So yeah! Fuck you, that example. Anyway, rant over. So, um, that's almost universally the case. So, um, that's why that movie is the way it is, and that's why I never thought it could work being remade or retooled or anything, because Godzilla's gotten bigger than that. Godzilla has gotten infinitely more powerful, infinitely more popular. His universe has gotten infinitely more interesting beyond that. So, it seems ridiculous to bring Kong into that. That's why a lot of Godzilla fans are really against this. And that's the thing. 
reactions to this have been extremely mixed, and internally for me as well, just internally I've just sort of gone, is this really a good idea? Um, even ignoring all the size differences and all that nonsense, just on a level of, and all the comparisons to the MCU and comparisons to Batman v Superman, just on a level of, is this just a good idea for both of these characters? There are really good reasons to say why it's not. You know, number one, Kong himself, you know, is, is going to be sort of, um, people, people wanted Kong to have a good independent movie again. And I know a lot of people like 2005, me, me included, but a lot of people don't. So a lot of people wanted Kong to get his own solo good movie again, separate, isolated, have his own thing, just like we did for Godzilla with 2014. And odds are, we'll still get that with Kong Skull Island. I mean, who knows, that movie could be garbage, we don't know yet. But, you know, most indicators seem to make it sound interesting at the very least, so we'll still get that, probably. And, um, because of that, that makes me personally more okay with bringing him into Godzilla's universe and having them fight with those two continuities merging, um, or making a version of Kong that exists in the Godzilla 2014 world. Um, because we're going to get him by himself first, or at least introduced in a movie with his mythos first. I don't know how much of that's actually going to be about Kong himself, since it was pitched originally as the origins of Skull Island. Um, but that's, that idea seems to have changed over time, especially now that they're going to, you know, put it in the Godzilla universe. Um, so, I think we're still going to get that. It's just a matter now of, um, you know... Uh, making it work, just doing it in a way where the audience will buy it, doing it in a way that's interesting, that pays respect to both of those characters, and that does it in, that does it in a way that's fucking epic. So, um, aside from that, and aside from the size discrepancy, of course, which I'm not going to talk about that in this video because we've talked about it a million times, that's what all the commentators on this have been focusing on, and, you know, this is a movie. They'll just, they'll do whatever. They'll size him up, they'll size Godzilla down, they'll find a way to make it feasible for those two to fight, regardless of preconceived notions held by fans and moviegoers. So, I'm not even going to get concerned about that. What I'm going to be concerned about is just sort of doing both of those characters justice and also telling a decent story. Because that's the thing that I'm the most concerned about with this, is that this is just going to be a run-of-the-mill, typical slugfest that's just going to happen to have Godzilla and Kong in it. And the question is... Is that enough? Because the other rumors are, I'm just going to get a little bit more comfortable if you folks don't mind, um, that Godzilla and Kong are going to fight for a bit, um, as Mr. Sunday Movies likes to, likes to say, and then they're going to team up and be mates, as he also likes to say. Um, so, uh, that idea in and of itself is weird because I would be extremely interested and in and sort of it would take me a while to think of anything that Godzilla and Kong would have common grounds over unless you've just got a stronger monster that's more of a threat than they are um, or that they see each other as so I don't know what possible grounds they could have to team up but I'm sure they'll find something because again if it's just them fighting the whole movie I think people are gonna be a little bit disappointed just because it's like oh well that's exactly what I thought it was gonna be and also since they're gonna want franchises to continue out of both of those characters after that point you know they're not gonna kill either of them in the fight especially not Godzilla there's no way Godzilla is gonna lose that fight um if anything I'm telling you Godzilla is either gonna win or it's going to be a draw. Um, there's no way they kill either of them. And again, if, if, if one of them wins, I think it's going to be Godzilla, just because this was his franchise first. And, I, and again, I know technically that, that was the same thing with King Kong versus Godzilla, but I talked about this in the podcast, too. I think Godzilla is more of a popular name these days and more of a popular character. I think if you walk up to 9 out of 10 people, they'll say, yeah, Godzilla's cooler than King Kong. Um... Uh, and again, that's not just because 2014 came out and was semi-popular and people somewhat liked it. Um, I think that's also just on a level of, in the 50-odd in the years since King Kong vs. Godzilla came out, Godzilla's just expanded it again. So he's gotten bigger than Kong, uh, both in size and in popularity, in my opinion. So I just think on that level, the way they do this is going to have to be entirely different from how they did it in the first place in, in 1962. This is going to have to be more of 
they're going to have to be clever about it. They're going to have to go, okay, we know we're going to have to have them fight in a spectacular way at some point. But the question is, how do we do that in a way that's interesting? And how do we do that in a way that's not going to piss too many people off? Um, so I guess really the only thing you can do in that way is have them team up against something else. Um, it, it's just a matter of finding something that's not going to be really stupid. Like, you, know, you don't want it to be Ghidorah or anything like that. You would want it to be sort of something unique and something really big and scary that they would have to team up against. So I couldn't even fathom what, what you could do to, to, to have them fight um, and then team up. Um, so I'm not even going to speculate. Um, if you guys have any ideas, drop it in the comments. But again, Aside from just a bigger monster, or or I guess I guess you could also have them team up against the humans. That could be potentially interesting. In fact, I would prefer that over just the bigger monster. That could be kind of interesting, and that would definitely make for a more compelling narrative. If it's if it's you know Godzilla and Kong going, why are we fighting? These people fucking suck. Let's attack them. Um, that could be that could be interesting, and why they would do that would also be interesting. So, um, I would prefer that honestly over. Hey, here's a bigger monster. Go kill it, you two. We're buddies now. Goodbye. And that's the end. Um, I think that's what they're more likely to do. But again, I think it might be more interesting if Godzilla and Kong fight for a while. And then potentially the reason why they fight could be a man-made sort of contrivance, just like it is for the plot. So that might be interesting to do sort of a meta commentary there. Um, and then have them go, why are we beating the shit out of each other? Let's just fucking get out of here and screw these people over. Um, so that could be potentially interesting depending on how they handle it. Um, uh, so you'd have to do a little writing around that to make it work. Um, aside from that, though, honestly, I don't really have a ton else to say. Um, just because, again, we know so little about how this universe is going to progress. Um, what they do with Godzilla 2 will ultimately be the best indication of what we can expect from this. Um... Or actually, actually, Kong Skull Island will be the best indication since that's the next thing in this universe that's coming out. I think that's 2017, so um, that movie will be the best indication of how this is going to go down. That'll give us all the information on what they're doing with Kong's size, what they're doing with his powers, if he's going to have any. I doubt he will. Um, I don't think they're going to give him lightning powers in this, but um, that would definitely be a way that you could do to give him an edge over Godzilla because that's the thing he lacks right now is any real... Um, edge in this fight. Um, again, I'm thinking what they're going to do just for the fight itself is since we've got a Godzilla here who's extremely... we got a Godzilla in this continuity who's really good at fighting. Um, he's not as strong as Godzilla's been in the past. He's not millennium power. I would say, again, the closest thing that he is to power-wise is Showa Godzilla. Um, he can be killed, definitely. Um, so... I think if you're going to have a Godzilla, a modern-day Godzilla for a version of Kong to fight, this is definitely, this is actually probably the best version to do it with. You've got a slightly more sort of low-key Godzilla who is incredibly powerful and godlike in his abilities, but comparatively to past Godzillas, he's not going to blow up the world with his with his power like he, he would have been able to in the Heisei and Millennium series. Um, I mean, in Millennium, they say at one point, if he wanted to, he could wipe out the entire planet. No problem. Um, so, uh, this Godzilla ain't going to do that. So, um, this is probably actually the best Godzilla for Kong to fight. Um, and I think if you got a quick enough, big enough, strong enough Kong, and have him able to dodge the atomic breath, and have him be able to, to maneuver around Godzilla's claws and his mouth and everything and his dorsal spines... I think you got a decent fight in here, guys, to be honest. Um, and honestly, the more I think about it, the more I really want to see a good, dynamic, well-choreographed CGI fight between Kong and Godzilla. I think it could be really cool. Particularly on Kong's end, I think what the CGI will allow you to do is more emphasize to people why he might be able to be a match for Godzilla. Just in terms of his speed and also just... He's got opposable, th well, Godzilla's technically got opposable thumbs too, but um, he's got more, you know, human-like hands. So Kong is probably able to do more stuff with it. Um, he'll probably be able to use weapons more around um, in the city or wherever they're fighting. So um, I think the CGI will allow the filmmakers to, whoever ends up directing this, because I doubt that it's going to be Gareth Edwards. Um, we don't know any of that information yet. Um, to express, well, here's how Kong could stand up to Godzilla. Um... So again, kids, it's all going to just come down to how they do it. So just like with Gamera, we'll just have to see. But I think that's all I have to say for now. 
Uh, we'll talk more about this on the podcast and everything as news comes up and as we feel like it. So um, this is not the last time I'm going to talk about this. I just wanted to do a basic video to give my basic thoughts on it. So overall, I'm really excited. I hope this doesn't suck. I hope this is great. And I hope that this does my childhood and everybody else's childhood justice. So Godzilla vs. Kong 2020. Are you excited? Let me know. So yeah, just drop some shit in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about this because I know a lot of people are not going to like this. I know a lot of people are going to like this. So tell me why you feel the way you do in the comments and um, drop any concerns you have, any ideas you have for how they might do a Kong Godzilla team up, how they might keep it where it's just Kong and Godzilla fighting. What do you guys think is the best way for them to do this? So let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for giving a shit about my opinion. It's, it's, it's really, it does my heart good, so thank you guys. Um, so yeah, let's have an open dialogue. Drop some, drop some little nuggets of gold down there in the comments. Um, so as always, keep a lookout for the podcast, DFOS, Shoe Watch on Andres' channel. Uh, be sure to like the SOS Network homepage on Facebook. And just be sure to look out for whatever I'm doing in the future, because right now, it's all up in the air. Um, I'll let you guys know as I figure things out in my head. So, again, thank you everyone so much for your support. Uh, you guys are amazing, and um, you guys are the reason I keep doing this. So, um, yeah, just thank you. Um, so, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Until next time, everyone, I am Zazubar. And go rewatch King Kong vs. Godzilla, because it's way better than people give it credit for. And it's just really fun. Just stay up till 2 in the morning and put that shit on. It's awesome. Anyway, good night, everyone.